Now the website on your screen is a file sharing website called foreshare.com. Now it might look pretty ugly but it is actually pretty popular and I'm going to give you two reasons why. First reason is that it's free to use so I can upload files to this website completely free and it stops my hosting account being used just to host files that are being shared online. Secondly there's lots of illegal download products being shared on here. Now that's obviously unfortunate for products for product creators and people who are having their products shared for free illegally. But as a marketer we have to take advantage of those opportunities. So what I would personally recommend is that if you have any content at all, whether it's a free ebook, whether it's phot photographs related to your niche, whether it's podcasts, whether it's video tutorials, I would always recommend sharing them on here. Now the key to getting people to download them is to name them similar to what people are going to be looking for on here. So if there's any products in your niche that are really popular that people might be looking for on here to download, you could name your ebook or your tutorial video similar to those particular products. So what you're looking to do is basically collect the fall off in terms of search um, people searching for products. So that's the way that this would work and as always if you have content I would always recommend redistributing that across different sharing platforms anyway because the more places that your content's placed the more chance you've got of different people downloading it and in turn returning to your website. Now 7Search is another pay per click advertising network that you need to be familiar with. So they are, have a bunch of publishers signed up to their network which are websites that will display your ads. So you could choose to have display ads which are ads that are based on an actual website within content pay-per-click ads which are text-based ads that are targeted on search engines to people who are searching for related content. So the same way that you'd set up Google AdWords or Bing uh, pay-per-click and mobile ads. Now personally I prefer the pay-per-click because I think that they're the most targeted visitors and you all know how well AdWords and the Bing network work. Now the thing with 7Search is that as you can see if we go to the advertising page here it's actually quite a bit cheaper than the competitors and the reason for that is that 7Search uses many smaller search engines so Google know they have the monopoly so their ads can be a little bit more expensive because lots of people are advertising on that particular network now if you advertise on 7Search because it's a whole network of different smaller search engines you can get a much better pay per click rate. So it's definitely worth checking out, um, you will save money and there are no minimums the same way you will select your own cost per click, your own budget so there's no way that you can go broke by trying this uh, network out. This advertising network is called Adblade and it's a network that enables you to create content style ads just like this example on your screen here. So basically creating ads that are embedded into a site that look like they're actually related to that site content. So what we're going to do is give you a quick example here. So I'm over here at their advertisers section and what you can see is they work with some of the world's most trusted news websites Fox News, Yahoo etc. So basically your advert would be placed on a news or newspaper type website. These do, uh, Adblade don't work with long tail ugly websites only real authorities in the news uh, area. So as you can see here are the type of ads that will be displayed. So they'll actually look like they're part of the website where the ads are being displayed. So they'll look like they're actual content on that specific website. Now what that means is that people will not ignore them. So basically ad blindness which means that you will see an ad on the side of a website, you'll know it's an ad straight away and you'll just ignore it, doesn't really happen with these type of ads. So this platform also enables you to do retargeting which is 
If someone's already visited your website, you'll then leave a cookie on their uh, in their browser, and you can actually advertise specifically to those people again. So there are some really good uh, advertising options on this site, and you only need to spend a fifty dollar deposit to get started, and you can either do cost per click so you know exactly how much you're paying per click or you can do cost per 1000 impressions so this is definitely a platform that you should be looking at especially if you have high quality content that you want to advertise now I'm sure you've all seen this logo before because eBay is obviously one of the most popular websites on the internet but what you may not know is eBay also has a few other web properties that they create just to expand upon their brand so one of them is their classified ad websites located at ebayclassifieds.com So you can obviously change your location based on where you are in the world and it's free to actually post an ad in any of these sections here. So if you're looking to sell a desk or sell um, you know a game or an old camera or an old computer or whatever you want you can do so by posting an ad on eBay classifieds it works basically in a very similar way to Craigslist it's just not quite as well known so how would you use this to drive more traffic well there's a few different ways um, one of them is posting up a job which might not actually be a real job and then you set up an autoresponder so if someone actually replies to your job advertisement you'll send them a email instantly telling them that you're actually looking over their application and you'll be in contact if they're successful in the footer of that email you could have a link to your squeeze or your web page so that's one way that you can generate traffic but another way very simple way is just to list a free downloadable book so all you do is you click create your free ad you'd place it in the books and magazines category you'd put the title of the book you would make the book free and then you'd post a description and uh, just an e-cover now what you do is you would of course have your email address in there and then when someone actually emails you to pick up the free book all you do is reply to them with the URL of your squeeze page so it's a very very simple it's um, it's manually approved so you have to make the ad look like a serious ad I would not put the URL personally in the description but you can try that if you want to I would personally recommend someone emails you and you'll shoot them back a link to your squeeze page so that's how simply these guys very very easy the same way you would use some another classified ad website such as Craigslist now I'm sure you've seen this type of award graphic before like this here so it's a little bit like the investor in people logo now this website here called laurel leaves award maker enables you to generate your own graphic of this type using a really simple um, just entering text format so what we can do here is we could put So we could put yourwebsite.com awards five stars to Joe Blogs 2015. So here's the way that the award would come out. So yourwebsite.com awards five stars to Joe Blogs uh, 2015. Now that's how the picture comes out. As I say, you can change it here. You can change the style of the leaves, you can change the size of the logo itself, you can change the colour of the words, so it's really easy to format. And then what you do here is simple, you just download the image. Now how is this useful for traffic? Now what you can do, if you're ranking different blogs, different websites, different posts, you can send this award logo you can send this award logo to people and 
they will then put this award logo potentially on their blogs, on their social media websites to say that they've been awarded five stars. Anyone that's looking at their blog or their social media website will see your website URL here. So that can generate quite a lot of direct traffic from other people's websites just by giving them this award, which, you know, doesn't really exist. It's just an award that you've put together just to say that you're ranking their blog or their website five stars. So it's a really simple way of generating direct traffic. All you need to do is create the award, which takes, as you can tell, about two minutes. Click done, then load the image, and then send it over to whoever you want to give it to. Now this is Oodle Online Marketplace. So it's a marketplace where people will sell cars, motorcycles, boats, they'll rent out apartments, office space, uh, they'll advertise jobs, or even sell pets. So it's a very varied marketplace. Now more often than not, most people use Oodle just to sell old things or unwanted pets or you know puppies or, or whatever that type of thing but that's the reason why most marketers don't even know about it or don't use it at all but it does have its uses for marketers and I'm going to explain why now as you can see down here there is a section called services and there is a section called tickets so as a marketer if you're offering any services you can actually list them on Oodle Alternatively, if you have a webinar or any sort of online event, you could actually list that on here as well. So, even though it might look like a website where you just sell off your old stuff or your pets, you can actually also list your online events on here. So, it's really, really simple. All you do is to create a post by hitting post here at the top. and you just fill in the appropriate details so what are you posting it will be an online event while you are posting it you know because uh, obviously you're looking to get people to attend you would describe the event you'd add a photo if you want you'd select category which would be in this case tickets and it would be free so this could be online or you could just put an area in there and you could post it's that simple so that's how you'd use Oodle as a marketer now obviously the primary use of this website isn't for marketing purposes but it is a website that you can actually use to enhance the traffic's, traffic back to your event or to your service websites. We're over here at sitescout.com which is one of my favourite self-serve advertising platforms. It enables you to advertise to people on mobile or desktop and you can select how much you want to pay per impression based on the publisher retargeting users who visited your website in the past, specific audience characteristics, or even specific content-based websites. So it gives you a lot of different opportunities to advertise to different people, and because it uses real-time bidding, RTB, it enables you to get some very, very good low-cost ads. Now, real-time bidding, although I don't understand the technical side of it, Basically, you'll bid against your competition in real time for an advertising impression. So what that means is if you're retargeting, for example, um, and you have a very low bid, but there's no one else that's actually bidding higher than you to advertise on a specific website to a person that's visited your, um, your platform, in the, your website in the past, that will enable you to get very low cost advertisements. And a lot of uh, publishers were a little bit weary about um, real-time bidding when it first came onto the market exactly because of that, because the advertisers, people like us, were getting a very, very good deal. So just to show you the scope of the network that we're working with on Sidescout, there are 63,000 users, which are advertisers, 68,000 websites, 73 exchanges, nearly 150,000 campaigns and 31 billion daily ad views so it is a very very big network now of course this is a paid traffic method so you're gonna need a little bit of money to start with but because it involves real-time bidding you can bid on whatever amount you want per impression 
so it enables you to be in charge of your own budget of course and you can do that text based ads or even video based ads on this network so it's definitely worth signing up for has a lot of different opportunities and if you head into the back office it's really really easy to set up an ad this website is slick deals which is a very popular deal website so it lists products and services that are for sale online that have a very good discount at this present moment in time so as we scroll down the site we can see uh, some deals so we can see a free game here uh, a very cheap PC game a $100 eBay gift card for $95 and so on and so forth now if you have an ebook or a product for sale online and you want to discount it for just a short period of time what you can do is submit it to this website as a deal so all you do is head on over to deals in the menu here click post a deal and all you need to do is follow the instructions which is basically a forum thread it's obviously to your product so you'll know if it's not a repost um, and basically all you do is follow the um, seven guidelines here enter the information in here scroll down the page a little bit uh, as you can see these are the different types of uh, products or services that you can list on the website so books is one of them if you have an ebook or videos if you have uh, tutorials and you can select the type of deal category for it to be displayed in and all of that other information so it's a real good way of getting more people to not only check out your ebooks or products but also sell a lot more products as well now I'm sure you've heard about the website StumbleUpon which is a social media website that enables you to stumble which is basically store your favorite web content so a lot of people use StumbleUpon you know to actually store websites they like and then they'll be shown other types of content that actually relates to that so other content that stumble upon believes that that person will like based on their existing stumbles so it's a very intelligent platform and one that a lot of people use just to pass time and read the type of content that they're into now what I'm going to talk to you about now is the advertising network of stumble upon because it's pretty sophisticated and it's also low cost to start up so basically you can have a full page ads as you can see and ads work on all devices so as you can see you can distribute your content which is articles videos slideshows whatever you want as an advertisement so here are some examples So there are millions of users, so you can target the specific users that you want. So it's really, really simple. And here I'm going to give you the tour quickly. As long as you have a URL for your content, that's all you require, the content that you want to share. You choose your audience using their targeting, which can be based on location, age, gender, etc. And of course, stumble upon itself is based a lot on targeting interests, so it's likely to be very, very accurate for that. You're in complete control of your budget, so there's no minimum spend at all, and you can start and stop at any time. So there's no way you can go broke by trial and error with stumble upon ads. And if you want, you can have your visitors start to arrive within just a few minutes. If more people engage with your content, you'll also receive free visitors, as you can see from this graphic here. 
and you have obviously optimization, reporting, etc. Now, as you can see from the pricing plans, they have some plans specifically for large companies, but the pay as you go service is perfect for a small company or an individual. So, it's definitely a platform that's worth checking out. Um, you can start with a very small budget and you can try all video ads, you can try all content ads, whatever you want to do. So definitely check this platform out and you're going to receive some free visitors as well.